Uh, okay, this weekend, though, if anybody heading out and about traveling, that's a big story for tomorrow. No problems in the world of weather. Oh, and wonderful. How often do you get to say that this year? I know. You know? Not much this year. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yeah. Right. So uh, the showers we had today, they're coming to an end, and I show you this right now on First Alert Doppler Radar. If you're planning on heading up to the Sierra tomorrow, we don't have to worry about the snow showers at all. Uh, the rain activity, all of that has, uh, or is pretty much all said and done here at this point. Just a few isolated showers that's left. But there are still clouds that are in place, and these will be over us through most of tomorrow. And that's going to keep temperatures slightly cooler than average, but warmer than today. So it's the start of a warming trend that will take us all the way through Monday. Monday's when the temperatures peak, and right now we're looking at middle to upper 70s for the valley. Then we start to cool things down again, going into the middle portion of the week. So uh, the valley is warming up, the Sierra is warming up, and temperatures by Tahoe up near 60 for Sunday, with a mix of sun and clouds turning mostly sunny by the time Monday rolls around. So a nice stretch of weather, even for the higher elevations. However, the reason why it's not going to last very long is all due to the placement of high pressure. The ridge of high pressure is building right across the four corners. That's what's giving us our warm up going into Monday. But by Tuesday to Wednesday, you can see this dip here. This is with the jet stream. We call this a trough, and it has some cooler weather with it, and it's going to be pushing into the Pacific Northwest and close enough for us where our temperatures start to go back down into the 60s. So over the next 6 to 10 days, much of the West Coast still looking at below average temperatures, but at least the warm-up is coming just in time for Easter weekend. For tonight, with the clouds in place, temperatures won't free fall. We'll see lows into the mid-40s, and then we recover into the upper 60s tomorrow. Uh, out toward Midwest, about 69 degrees, 68 in Elk Grove, same into Marysville and in Sacramento. And then in the foothills tomorrow, you can expect temperatures upper 50s to low 60s, with highs into lower 50s in the Sierra. So even though we have clouds to start off the day tomorrow, I think by dinner time we will break out with more sunshine as that drier air begins to work in. So speaking of that, fairly dry forecast too, all the way through the next several days, all the way through next week. Wednesday, Thursday running cool, but the rest of the week temperatures running much warmer than what we have seen recently. And then if you're heading to the Bay Area too, it's going to be a bit breezy, typical weather for the Bay Area, but especially Tuesday, the winds will be a little bit higher. And then by uh, the foothills, nice quiet weather. Same in this year through much of next week. Guys?